Welcome to the City of Hamilton's new Central Composting Facility. The Facility Design Build Team incorporated some of the world's most innovative composting technologies in such design factors as corrosion prevention, aesthetics, odor control, and product quality. The facility is designed to process 60,000 tons of source-separated organic per year, with short-term pulse loads of 90,000 tons also possible. Material is received directly from the Green Bin Curbside Collection Program that is administered by the City of Hamilton. Once the material is discharged from the collection vehicle, it is visually inspected on the tip floor prior to stockpiling, with the option to add in other materials from outside sources, such as other recycling programs. This material is blended as required with oversized screen material generated in the process. This is then loaded into a low-speed, high-torque shredder for further size reduction and blending. The shredded material is then conveyed under a cross belt magnet to remove any metal contamination that may occur. The material is then fed through a series of both fixed and movable conveyors where it is finally deposited on the phase one overhead filling cassette. This filling cassette automatically places the shredded source separated organic waste in uniform layers over the entire tunnel. Once the tunnel is filled, the door is closed and the composting process begins. The material will stay in the phase one tunnel for 14 days. The tunnel has an aerated floor to allow airflow to be blown up through the source separated organic waste. It is also equipped with a sprinkler system to allow liquid amendment to be added. Temperature, the amount of liquid amendment added and volume of air is monitored by the process computer. The computer also confirms that the material has sustained the required temperature for the specified time to ensure pasteurization, with 40 Celsius being the optimal temperature to condition with the most beneficial type of bacteria for plant growth. The mass of the material is usually reduced by 30% in phase one tunnels. After 14 days in the Phase 1 tunnels, the material is moved with a loader to the Phase 2 tunnels. While still being monitored by the process computer in the control room, only clean water is added to increase moisture. The material also undergoes a second pasteurization for 24 hours. After 7 to 10 days in the Phase 2 tunnels, the material is ready for screening. Utilizing a second loader to prevent cross-contamination, the material is then unloaded from the Phase 2 tunnel via the second door at the other end. It is then fed into a hopper that breaks up the compost prior to being conveyed to the screening plant. The Star Screen Plant, which is equipped with an air separator to remove plastics, sorts the materials into three fractions, two oversized and finished compost. The oversized material is then stockpiled to mix with incoming source separated waste as amendment to provide porosity, microbial inoculation and structure. The operator can adjust the speeds of the various stars to adjust the size of the finished compost, with conditioning again to improve quality of the finished compost. The compost is then moved by tube conveyor and piled in the curing building. It is then stockpiled until it has matured.
It is then tested to confirm that it meets CCME guidelines prior to shipping. The finished compost is then shipped by truck to various wholesalers and other agricultural clients. The process computer also controls all air that enters and exits the facility. Odorous process air is first passed through an air scrubber and then a biofilter prior to being released from the facility. The biofilter is made up of specifically sized wood product media that enables the growth of beneficial organisms that remove additional odors from the air. The City of Hamilton's new central composting facility is the only facility to not only meet and exceed North American standards, but is designed to meet or exceed current, more stringent European standards. <laughs>